na washukuru sana wale walijitolea mhanga na wakaweka mimi kwa hadi ile singe kwako kulingana si rahisi mtu ajitole hakujui haja kuona sura lakini ni bila ameona tu ile shida ulikuwa nayo mm. mm. na sasa niko tofauti kabisa mm. kwa maisha ile nilikuwa Hmm. Umesema Nairobi anapoteza wakati akae na sisi hapa nyumbani. Anapoteza wakati Nairobi. Hmm. Akae hapa. Hmm. Mpatie ngombe kama iko achunge hapa. Hapo. Eh. Yeah. maziwa ya nyumbani. Kunywe yeah. maziwa ya nyumbani. Hapana <laughs> ya paketi. Yeah. Acha kamwe mwenyewe. Kamwe. Eh. Well, it is uh, a few minutes to 5 a.m. and uh, we are at Kawangware area and you can see the place is slowly coming to life and most importantly the day has finally come when Mze Ambani is finally going home and this is all courtesy of you who've made sure that he has a house to live in. So today he's shifting all the way to Kakamega that is in his hometown and uh, we are going to follow through and make sure that we get everything for you. Thank you. Let's walk into his house and find out how they are this morning. Odi, mzee habari ya subuhi? Uko salama? Muko tayari? Ano mefanya kupak? Ah, sasa, sasa, sasa kuku, uko salama? Safari imekuwa aje bwana? Safari ni ni nzuri sana. Mm. Mm. Naona tumefika nyumbani. Tumefika nyumbani nimefurahi sana. Mhm. Mm. Hii shule mm. inaitwa Musadi Secondary School. Mhm. Mm na hapa ndio nilianza kusoma mm -hmm. mwaka wa 55. Kwa kwa 1955. Eh. It's been a tough, close to eight hour journey from Nairobi since early morning. But finally, at around, uh, it is exactly 5.10 p.m. Wow, what a journey it's been. Finally, we are here. Mze, nasikia vipi kufika nyumbani? Nasikia vizuri sana. Tena na shukuru. Bile tumekuja, tumefika. 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 Tuliomba wakati ya kwanza wakati tulitimba nyumba hii. Na shukuru kwa sababu mmefanya hiyo mipango na nyumba imekwisha. Naomba ya machache katika jina Yesu Kristo mwokozi wetu. Amen. Mzee habari asubuhi. Salamu. Mwea mkaje. Na muka sawa. Yes. Mm. Leo ni siku yako ya kwanza katika nyumba yako? Ndiyo hii ni siku yangu ya kwanza katika nyumba yangu. Mm -hmm. mm. Usiku umekuwa vipi? 
au siku nimekuwa sawa kabisa nimelala singizi nono eh. yani umesema upepo unapiga tofauti tofauti kabisa <laughs> na kule nilikuwa eh. mm. na labda una, unapokumbuka maisha ambayo uliishi kule kibagare yalikuwa vipi hiyo uh, haikuwa maisha hiyo ilikuwa ndugu ya kifo mm-hmm. mm. na sasa hivi uh, sasa mm. Niko sawa kabisa. <laughs> Niko sawa kabisa. Hapa ndio sitting room. Mm. Na viti kufikia kesho vitakuwa vimekuja. Oh, viti. Eh. Ah. Ndio bado viti mesa. Okay. Hii mzigo hatujapanga. Mm. Hapa ndio nililala temporary. Oh. Hata hii hatujapanga. Mm. Hii kitanda hii. Hii na mjukuu wangu. Haya wale wengine kitanda yao ni hii. Wale wengine kitanda yao ni hii. Kitanda yao ni hii. Hii bado kutandika. Na hii vitu bado kupanga. Sasa kitanda yao ni hii ingine mm. na zote ziko na godoro yeah. zote hata godoro mmoja na baki mm. mm. iko sawa iko iko sawa hii tulikuwa tunafunga hii tumefunga leo hii tumefunga sasa inabaki tu kutandikwa na, na matandiko si hakuna si ati hakuna hapa mm. na unapanga kuweka tiles eh yeah. mm. kuweka hapa mm. Mm kama ni mabrangeti tunaye mabrangeti 12 mm. mm. sasa hiyo ni kitu gani ingine ile unaweza kusema ati unaanza kwenda kuhangaika kuhangaika unaangaika ukifanya ni mm. mm. ulidhani watu wangekujengea nyumba baada ya sisi kuja kuwa mahojiano kwako hapa ah, siku dhani eh. niliona tu wakati wanaonyesha kila mtu ananipigia simu akiniuliza e, namna gani namna gani namna gani hmm. wananiuliza huko nyumbani una, una kashamba ambia ni kidogo tu una shamba ni kidogo tu hivyo 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 mhm mhm wakati ndianza kuona dalili ile walionyesha Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Na wale ambao wamehakikisha umesaidika vilivyo, ningetaka wajue nini kutoka kwako. Wale <coughs> na wapongeza sana. Mm-hmm. Wale walijitolea. Wakajitolea na tena naombea Mungu kabisa aongeze, naongeze kizazi chao. Mm-hmm. Kulingana si rahisi mtu ajitolee hakujui haja kuona sura lakini ni bila ameona tu ile shida ulikuwa nayo. Mm. Kwanza kama huyu jeni asilu. Alikuwa hawezi kumaliza siku mbili bila kuja. Na alikuwa anafanya mbali sana, alikuwa anafanya machakos. Mm. E, anakuja kutujulia hali tuko namna gani. Mm. Na anatupa kila kitu. Mm. Kila kitu kabisa. Mm. Na na Kwa, akina Jaki. Ah, Jaki na washukuru. Mm-hmm. Na washukuru sana. Na washukuru Mungu aongeze. Wa mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Na kuna yule mjukuu wako, Bronzia. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Alijifungua mtoto? Amejifungua sasa mtoto ana miezi mitatu na nusu. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Na yeye yuko wapi sasa hivi? Ako katika rescue house. Rescue house. Mm-hmm. Nilikuja huko through to Konius director wa Sofop. Alipata news kwa Ruto Konius afa akakuja home wa Karenge ndo nikakuja wings. Nilikuja ni kwa mjamzito. Afa afa nikapata leba na ndo alinishughulikia hadi nikabon. Ah uh, I'm Mrs. Iwin or Liuba Mteshi those are my official names. Um, by the grace of God I'm the founder and the director of Wings of Hope Rescue Home where we rescue teenage girls who are victims of rape or child sexual abuse. Uh, we help these girls through counseling. We we empower them by taking them to school. We help them we nurse them through pregnancy, then we take them through counseling, then we identify 
what uh, what they would want to be in future and then we after delivery we take them to hospital for delivery but after delivery we bring them home mm -hmm. we take them through the second phase of counseling where we want them to accept to go back to school so that they can pursue a goal mm -hmm. and then we take them to school at a point where they left before they got into the situation that they were in when we got them exactly i had i have a friend called uh, Jani who is a social worker in Korogocho and uh, Jani tagged me on a story on Tuko, on Fauzia, it was Muse's story. So when she tagged me on, uh, on WhatsApp, I looked at the case and then I made a, a comment that I run a rescue home for teenage girls and I can help this girl. Then Divina saw my comment and then she inboxed me and so we, I met with her and then we went to her home where Fauzia was. I, I investigated her case and realized that it was one of the cases of the girls that we helped. Mm -hmm. So I saw her through Tuko and then I got in touch with Divna and uh, with the help of Sylvia we, w we went and got her and brought her to Wings of Hope. Exactly. Yeah, We have done a lot of counseling and also the good thing is that she can see other girls who went through even tougher situation that has and have overcome through counseling and they are now in school and they are pursuing a goal mm -hmm. and now she's so hopeful. I can say she has come out of that. I thought she was a she was an introvert, but I've just come to realize she's just like this outgoing girl and she can do stuff. Mm -hmm. She has learned how to do skills like baking. The other day I was showing Divina she was having a bad day wow. and we were baking. All the girls come together and bake the cake and we celebrate with her. And so yeah, she has really improved mm -hmm. and she's if you meet her she'll tell you, I want to be a journalist <laughs> and there is hope. Yeah. <laughs> ndoto bado ni ile ile ya kukuwa mwana habari nilikuwa nimeambiwa wamelitengeneza na guka meshaenda huko na siblings zangu na mimi nashukuru kila mtu mwenye alitusupport kutoka kwa ile background tulikuwa hadi hapo sasa ipo nyetuka asante na Mungu abariki na mguu wako pia umekuwa nakumbuka tukifanya mahojiano ya moja kwa moja mwaka uliopita mguu ulikuwa na shida kidogo. Eh, hey, nilikuwa kienda hospitalini. Nilikuwa naenda kila wiki. Mm -hmm. Kwa therapy nikitoka kwa therapy naenda kwa kwa x-ray. Sasa ilikuwa nikilipa shilingi kwa wiki 2000. Hizo mm. 2000 na nataka uende kwa mwezi mara ine pale pa kutoa hizo pesa zilikuwa ni shida kabisa. Uh, mm. Lakini sasa hivi bado umepata matibabu angalau kidogo si kama ilivyokuwa. Ah sasa hivi mimi nafanya mazoezi uh. badala ya kwenda kutafuta wa, wa mm. mm. huyo wa Mhm. Ni natoka ni nini? A Muslim. Naenda Kangemi. Natoka Kangemi na telemkia hapo Aruko nikirudi paka Muslim. Sio ni mwendo mrefu sana. <laughs> Eh, una changamka kidogo. Eh, kila asubuhi, kila asubuhi. Nilikuwa nikifanya hivyo kabisa. Uh -huh. Lakini la muhimu zaidi naniambia nyumba umefurahi yani. Kabisa kabisa. Eh. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Na washukuru sana wale walijitolea mhanga na wakaweka mimi kwa hadi ile singe kwako. Na sasa niko tofauti kabisa hmm. kwa maisha ile nilikuwa. Hmm. Aya na wewe na Shukuru sana kwa vile ulikuwa ananitembelea. Mkifanya mm. namna hii unapiga simu nini nini. Na shukuru kabisa. Mm. Tuko. Asante. <laughs> Wanaitwa Tuko family. Unaweza ukawaongelesha hapa? Tuko family. Nampongeza sana kunibadilishia maisha vile nilikuwa kwako. Sasa sina shida ile niliona. Mm. Nafikiri ni mwisho wa hiyo shida. Mm. Sitaiona tena. Uh, kabisa. Mshukuru sana mzee. Endelea kufurahia na familia yako na watoto wako. Umesema mjini tena urudi. Ah, urudisha, narudi kufanya nini? Eh, unakaa nyumbani. Eh. Sasa. Eh, Mungu alitusaidia na watu ya tuku, tuko maisha mapya. Siku za nia tunaweza jenga. Na chini kwa uwezo wa Bwana tumejenga. Mimi nashukuru mmenikaribisha hapa. 
tutazidi kuwasiliana wewe uliusika vipi labda katika ujenzi wa hii nyumba? Hii nyumba nilikuwa napita nikakuta mwenye kuanzisha hako na kuna mtu akuomba akaniita nikaomba nikachimba foundation nikawacha akiendelea. Yeah. Kama baraka ya mzee kabisa. Yeah. Mm. Unaisi vipi labda wakati unamuona mzee ambani labda amepata nyumba yake mpya? Sasa mzee huyu mimi nafurahia kwa sababu amepata mahali atakochokana sisi akae hapa asirudi Nairobi tena akichenge yeah. kwa nini utaki arudi Nairobi Nairobi ni kumaliza wakati nguvu zimekwisha afadhali awe na ngombe moja mbili hapa ya kuchungia hapa anakaa hapa kabisa yeah. yeah. naye kwa muda gani mtu mrefu tangu asaliwe mm. ni rafiki wako utotoni ni ndugu ni, 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 ni yangu kusaliwa ndoku wa baba mwingine mm. yeah. yeah. na wale ambao wamehakikisha hii shughuli imekuwa sawa unawaambia nini nawapikia sana sana kwa sababu wamefanya kazi mzuri huyu tulikuwa na fikiria atakufia nje tuleta tu kama amefanya mna hii sasa amefanya kazi mzuri amekuja kwake yeah. umesema Nairobi anapoteza wakati akae na sisi hapa nyumbani anapoteza wakati Nairobi mm. akae hapa mm-hmm. mpatie ngombe kama iko achunge hapa Eh. Akunywe maziwa ya nyumbani. Akunywe maziwa ya nyumbani. Hapana hapaketi. Eh. Acha kamwe mwenyewe. Eh. How did you know about mzee? I knew mzee through a group called Julius Ambani Help Group formed by one Jackie um, Jackie Okumu in the US who saw the news from Tuko News on YouTube I think it's YouTube. Yeah, so she formed a group and one of the group members Musa Kagasi invited me and uh, that is how it came into the group so me being the person around the area i was sent to come and check if indeed there is a plot from mze because he had gone for long people are not even sure if he has somewhere that he can make a structure so i came here looked around i was introduced to this family and i've been a member of this family until the, the end of this house until today i'm still a member and i'm very grateful for to the Tuko family for everything for highlighting this plight if it wasn't for you guys i think mzee would be still languishing in kibagare but i'm very very grateful for what you did i'm very grateful for to the lady Jackie Okumu Genoa Silva Musa Kagasi Brian Malenya there are so many guys i can mention yeah a lot of diaspora people i've talked to in person Karanja Betty in France there are so many people yeah yeah wa shukuru mkaribishwa mse wetu mama yetu amekuja na watoto hata mzuri tumekaribisha yeah tumefurahi sana yeah wanasema watu watuko wabarikiwe wabarikiwe saidi hata mahindi iko ndizi mnasa yeah nataka kuwapea mahindi na ndizi Hey. Iko wapi ni wapelekee bwana? Iko wapi ni wapelekee? Wacha niwakatie mahindi, hey. iko kila kitu. Kwa sasa ni karibishwa sana. Hey. Tumekuaribisha. Na ni wengi bwana waki mahindi tawatosha kweli bwana. Ah man. Wewe hey, nikupea 10, 10 huyo, 10 huyo. Bas. Mungu anashukuru. <laughs> Na washukuru sana hawa tuko family kwa msaada ambao walitoa hapa wote. Nasema ni asanti. Hey. Umekawia muda gani labda kabla hujamuona mjombako? Huyu mzee miaka mingi. Mingi ni ngapi? Karibu miaka tisa hivi sija kutana naye. Lakini leo ni maajabu nimemuona. Kabisa. Tuko wameleta yeye nyumbani. Eh, tuko wameleta yeye nyumbani. Endeleeni kufanya hivyo. Tena endeleeni kufanya hivyo kila mahali. Eh, kabisa. Eh, tuko na yeye pamoja. You can tell that he is quite literally very very happy about what has happened in his life and he tells me that he never at one point in his life dreamt of owning such a house but this has been made possible thanks to you reporting for Tukoni news my name is Kevin Phillips Momani